Oh, there's the pudding and pie. The Bronx. Evening. Oh. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is of it course. business or pleasure? Or both? I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. She seemed disappointed. <laughs> I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. Maybe she's a furry. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I have a way with people. More so than usual. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> She's wearing the same ribbon around her neck that Faith was. Is that a thing for everyone who works here? Welcome to the Pudding and Pie. Where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your I'll have apple pie, please. Desires. Your imagination is the menu. And discretion is our guarantee. Did you know Lily? She worked here? <sighs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. Hmm. My lips are sealed is what Faith said as well. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. <laughs> what? You're gonna want that. No one's gonna want that. You fucking dozy bitch. Jesus Christ. Here. Well, I hate Georgie. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do you have to say it? I don't know, man. Looks you're like she's doing great to, to me. Turn the clients on. That's your job. You want them to feel happy. I can turn the boombox off. Oh, you. Stop. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. You, Georgie. Brilliant deduction, Sheriff. Oh, thanks. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beat. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? Jesus Christ. I can arrange whatever you like. For the right price. I don't want to antagonize him. I'd love to say fuck oh, you, but I'm not here for that. <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips then. He seems like the kind Jesus of person who would instantly so get his back up. I love it though. No. Seriously, I love it. We got to keep him sweet if we want to get any information out of him right now, I think. This isn't the time for telling him to fuck off. Okay. All right, sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Uh, do you? Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Okay. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamoured. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. Yeah, but... I mean glamoured to look like another fable. Yeah? yeah. Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. <laughs> the 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly Way. what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. 
Was she glamoured to look like Snow and White because a customer to wanted to fuck Georgia Snow White? He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Get that I out thought, of my face. I thought it was, was like a message that Snow was... Body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? Just going to pause it so I can get my thought out properly before we keep going. I thought that she was glamoured to look like Snow White as a message to Bigby in Left on His Steps as like a fucking warning, you're in danger, like fucking back off kind of message to Bigby and Snow White. However, it seems like this guy knew that she was glamoured to look like Snow White and probably like they just... I, I'm now thinking that it's like customers can come in and request a specific person that they want to fuck. And then this place will sort out a glamour to make the girl, any of the girls look like the specific person that the customer wants to be with. Which is very fucking creepy. Jesus Christ. Oh, hey, if you say so. Just looks like hair to me. Anyway, even supposing she was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. I don't need the trouble. For who, then? I don't know. She had clients. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Brilliant. Good anyway, one. Now what to do with me? Go on then. We're not done here. I think we are. I said we're not. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? That's what you came here for, right? That's what you like. One more time. Who hired her? Oh, no, fuck! Hey, I didn't do anything. <laughs> you! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! <laughs> Cry more? You proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. I didn't do shit, man. Fuck's sake. You fucked it up yourself. Fuck up, Hans. Hands like Hansel and Gretel? Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in no. it? Oh! Fucking moral. <laughs> Show me. There is no book. And yeah, apparently you, there is. We need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey! That's my personal property. Tell me about the book. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now. I want that book. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Just tell me where it is. Look, Georgie. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Do I don't know, does the touch that. You hear me. Does There's this guy to respond do. to violence? There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Oh, what's down here? I don't know if this dude only responds to violence or something, because Well well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sure you don't. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. 
Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. He doesn't seem to be responding, but I don't want to be the guy that everyone thinks Bigby big is, you know? Bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. He's trying to be better. You get it. I don't want to I don't want to have him revert. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Okay, good. It worked. Not actually breaking stuff eventually got to him to... Okay, cool. Good. I wasn't sure if maybe this guy only would respond if we started fucking his whole place Bloody, up. Come but... on, man. Prick. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so he can be happy about that. Oh, I see a little notebook there. Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh, dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. All right, well, we've got a room, room number. number. I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. <laughs> this is your book. Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. You're going to complain about me coming and asking a few questions and doing nothing wrong? I wonder how that's going to go. Business. Georgie. Georgie. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we're getting through to him. Yeah, that's right. Georgie. <laughs> I don't think don't think we're getting through to him. Okay. Anything else around here? Fifty-eight. Hmm. Oh, that's what I gave faith, huh? Hmm. We'll put it back. We gave it to her. She put it in the safe. I want to talk to the deputy mayor. It was her money at that point. Okay, I don't so give a rat's can... ass about that. Just fuck off and fetch him for me, all right? <laughs> fuck off and fetch him for me, all right? Okay, guess we're going out here. No, I don't want to. Nothing in Lily's. Apart from unless this stuff was knocked out of it. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Huh. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. So maybe... Faith wasn't the intended target? The first time? Lock's been busted open. Hmm. Broken open. But there isn't even a lock. Well, that's a weird one. Anything more to see here, or is that just... Oh, yep. Yeah. Faith. Hmm. 
Wait, even more? Are we just going to pick shit up one by one? Nope. Okay, I think we're done with that then. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. Uh, I keep hearing that. Somebody else said that to me on the way in. I guess we're all surprised. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Oh, sup, Ariel? Time. Are the legs? Help? Are the legs a glamour? You have legs. Kind of glamour? No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. Yeah, look great. <laughs> My name is Nerissa. Oh. Well, Nerissa. I've got some questions. Of course Not you do. Not Ariel, then? I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Uh, 207. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. That's the third time someone keeps it's saying that. Yeah. <laughs> People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Bruh. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Uh, yeah. Somewhere where Georgie can't hear, I assume. Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Do I have 150? Okay. Oh, I, uh, I don't, uh... I'd pay you if I could. <laughs> Wait here for a second. That's 204. Uh, 207. You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I'm I hope you sure find I will. You're looking for. Hmm. Okay, well it's something. Let's have a look at the old book of fables. Got a few here. Oh, we can't. <laughs> I was trying to hold the button and just fly over, but you've got to do it individually. Georgie Porgy, Pudding and Pie. Georgie runs the Pudding and Pie. Oh, right. <laughs> I see where it gets its name. Uh, a strip club that also caters to the unmentionable desires of Fable Town citizens. He has tried just about everything there is to try in the world of pursuit in to try in the pursuit of worldly pleasures, but none of it satisfies him for long. He does seem to enjoy pushing people's buttons. He takes pride in his nightclub and doesn't react well to anyone meddling in his affairs. Clever hands. Always does exactly as he's told. However, he often misunderstands his instructions and ends up hurting himself or behaving oddly, as in the case of his noted fable, where he threw sheep's eyes at his wife. Feel like I've never heard that fable. Unsurprisingly, she left him and now Hans works as a bouncer at Georgie's club. He hopes to dance on stage one day. Yeah, good luck with that. But for now, he's content sweeping up and making sure the crowd doesn't get out of hand. He's a bouncer, janitor, and handyman. Nerissa. Her story never had a happy ending. She's known as the Little Mermaid, the young girl who gave up her tail for a pair of legs in the hopes of winning the heart of a handsome prince. When he married a princess instead, Nerissa was left heartbroken. She made the journey to the mundane world hoping for a better life. Now she dances at the pudding and pie, but each step she takes feels like walking on shards of glass. 
She has very little left, but finds some comfort in the company of her fellow dancers. <laughs> the raised eyebrow. Right, so it's literally the hotel next door. Gee, I wonder where they go. Two steps to the left. Late evening. Smile, you're on camera. Okay, well we can maybe use the CCTV then. Yeah, shit will kill you. He says smoking? I guess that's the joke, but come on, man. I should probably repair that. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh. oh. Hi. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Why? Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we okay. don't get evicted. I All of say anything. our friends live at the woodlands. He'd be mortified. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. You're welcome. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh... Come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Uh, hmm. Have you seen snow here? Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Hmm. Did you know Faith? Did you ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Uh, do you know Tweedledee? I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. I see. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Ugh. Not sure that taking a loan from someone literally called the Crooked Man <laughs> is the best idea. Ever see Lily with anyone? Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Thanks. Wait. 
It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Sure. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. So, the Tweedle... Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's... Just Don't mention you're there. I was wondering if I need to be in it. Yeah, no worries. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. You're asking me to lie. Not lie, just not include my name. Just say you talk yeah, to that's the fine. clerk or something. You'll do what you have to. I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Down the end of the hall. Someone's having fun in 203. You really have to stay up here with me. Yes, I do. Just do what you have to do. I'm really curious what I'll see if I go in here. <laughs> Should I? It's going to be locked, right? Yeah. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. I mean, what if someone's in there? You Sounds like there is. Barging in. Please. Oh, fine. This is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> Hello! Hey, hey, what the fuck? Sorry. Oh, we didn't get to see Jesus who it was. Christ, you're gonna get me fired. I need this job. Okay, I'll be careful. I'll be careful. <laughs> I thought it was going to be someone we knew. But, fair enough. Uh, which one did we have the key for? Was it 204? Don't we have a key for 204? Yeah, we had the key for this one. So, I guess let's have a look in here first. It's 207 we need to get into. But let's just have a look around, I guess. This, I don't know what we'd actually find in here, though, because... Desks in a place like this. This just isn't the room that we need to be in, right? So... You get health inspectors through here very often? I don't know. What do you think? I think no. Finding what you're looking for? I nope. wasn't expecting much in here. But isn't this why you're here? Why you have the key? No. The key was just to be sure I found the right hotel. This isn't the room Lily was using. Oh. So, can you let me in? So, are we done now? Nope. No, the room they met in was 207. Dum dum dum. This way. I really don't think I should. It doesn't sound like there's anyone in this one, so it should be fine, right? I just want to see what's in there. Is he just going to turn around and walk out? Oh, I see. See anything? Nope. Did do, do, do next. This one next. I really don't think I should. <laughs> and then we give her the look, and then she does it anyway, and then we probably walk in, turn around, walk out. <laughs> But we may as well just check, right? No dead bodies in here? Nope. Okay, right. 207 time. Satisfied? Yep. Is this going to take a lot longer? Remember, you're not even supposed to be up here. Last one. 207. Open this one. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but 
it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? Oh, he thinks no, that we're going in no, there with her to... Uh, How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. We're not I about to shag, mate. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. <laughs> I'm sure you help each other just great. Oh, I dear. I know what this place is. I know what goes on here. So why are you here? Why are you here, mate? Investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife. Beast, yeah, so why are you up here? Going on. I'm back. <laughs> hey, bastard. I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop. Stop it. You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar. You've been sleeping with her this whole time. Listen to your wife. Just calm down and... Beast. Uh oh. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me. She's my wife, Big B. I told you. Stop. Here we go again. <laughs> Trying to do the right thing here, man. I don't want to be that guy. Especially when everything. this dude Please just doesn't even know fuck. what's going on. Shit, Bigby. What have you done? What? What is this? Yeah, I told you, man. What you did to the door. You can't just act like this whenever Stand you. Stand back. You you don't want to see this. R.I.P. Well, we got the door open. Oh, oh my God! Don't touch anything. Is this? Is this? Lily met her client here, Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then. Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night. Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... so that's... Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Can we please not talk about this? Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But Just do what he says. I'll explain later. Someone okay. please ask him why he was up here, though. Like, he he comes in going, why the fuck are you here to his wife? But what also, why the fuck is he here? Do something like this. That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with a built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Okay. Looks like... She was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. 
poor girl. I just can't even imagine. They would have had to drag the body past you at the desk, wouldn't they? I can't believe this. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. Hmm. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Someone had a fetish! Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? Uh, The bed matches the coffin? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and a weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Hmm. Anything else? No. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. Oh yeah, what a gent. Gentleman and a scholar. <sighs> For my arrival. Oh, I see that outfit in the cupboard. Hang on, let's Poor uh... Girl. Hear the tape. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here, and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Yeah, maybe. Just unbelievable. I don't know. It's not that. If someone screams, it's not. It's not like heavy music. Like if you wanted to cover up the sound of murder, you think you'd be getting out the fucking electric guitar and the drums, right? Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? Uh, that's Snow's costume? This is the same dress as the one in the book about Snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it, to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't so, she it was probably a regular the client way. then. Probably she happened multiple times. Anyone. How did she wind up here? And then only I the mean, last time, obviously. Exactly here, but just how does a person... Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Uh... Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. <laughs> yeah, that's not great. Uh, how do I find out who rents the how room? How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. Not hiding I anything? I not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this! 
please just do whatever you need to do and let's get out of here. Okay. Uh, is there anything else? See it coming. Can I just walk out? I think that's everything, right? I can't walk out, so there has to be something else I'm missing. Uh, I've already clicked this. What? Get it together, beauty. There's nothing else to click. Something on the floor. The camera doesn't go any further that way. I can't speak to her again. It doesn't let me walk out the room. Is this bugging out right now? There's nothing else for me to do. Unless I'm missing... Oh, wait. What was that? Something... Apple. Ah, there we go. Do you smell something? No. Just, <laughs> Just farted. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? Uh, it's like the apple in the book. It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow Story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a Snow White dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. <laughs> deep You're sleep. A detective yeah. Than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Yeah, that's got to be the last thing, right? Oh, never mind. We got ourselves a note. Are those pictures of the dead girl? Uh, I think that's going to be pictures of the actual Snow White. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. What the fuck? Oh my god, you giga creep. You fucking omega creep. Oh, that's it. That's the end. That was a shorter one. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Jesus. That, imagine that. That is so creepy. Someone you work with was out there making other people look like you and shagging them. Really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Oh, God. Hello, Big B. Hello, fuck nugget. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? Wait, didn't they put that on the next time last time? Am I am I going crazy here? Didn't they? Didn't the previous one say next time and then have Big B wolfing out, and then that didn't happen? Hmm. How did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? Oh, I one fifth. I was in the one fifth that sympathized with him. I yeah. Well, now I would not choose that. Now that I know what he's fucking doing. But uh, I mean, do I think that he necessarily killed her? Not so sure anymore. He doesn't seem like a murderer to me. He just seems like a massive fucking creep. So, and the fact that it is, it seems like it's saying to us right now that he's the murderer, but it's. 
only episode two of five, right? So the fact that it's showing us that makes me think it's probably not. And yeah, I think he probably was just acting out the Snow White stuff. And so, yeah, massive weirdo. But he probably did just wake her up and then she left. And then someone else killed her while she was still glamoured, I think. I feel like that's probably how it's going to go. How did you treat the murder suspect? 45%. Persuaded him to talk. We persuaded him to talk three times by being nice. Uh, did you let Snow come with you? 75% of players let her make her own decision. Good, good. 25% of players are dickheads. How did you handle Georgie Porgy? We didn't hit him. One fifth of people, again, did not do that. Uh, did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and 19%? Is that the smallest percentage? Holy shit. 19% of players opted not to hit Beast a second time. Your motherfuckers are nasty! Like, if we were in a scrap and he was, like, deliberately being a tool, then I'd keep going. But, like, he had just got the wrong end of the stick. And granted, he should have not fucking started fighting and should have allowed things to be explained. But, to be fair to him, it did look really bad. But also... I still want to know why he was there. But, uh, yeah, no, that wasn't a keep punching him situation. Jesus, I forgot how loud that fucking bang is at the end. <laughs> right, well, there we go. That is it for episode two. So when we return, we'll be going to Mr. Ichabod Crane and asking him why are you trying to fuck Snow White, you fucking old freak? That's uh, going to be an interesting conversation if we get to have it. But it, so it showed him like driving away and someone else, uh, Bluebeard, sat in his chair. So maybe he like gets away without us actually getting to talk to him about it. But uh, boy, do I want to have that conversation. We will see how that goes. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more The Wolf Among Us. Thanks for watching. See you then.